investigators say the man in the house lost his life in the explosion at the home here down Allen Road. His wife and young daughter, about 12 or 13 years old, weren't home at the time. But there is nothing left of this house, and everything that was inside is scattered out in the open. The house is completely gone. The life a family once had inside their home was left laying outside in thousands of pieces. Here, a smiling photo. There, a Beatles album. And even stuffed animals in the smoke. There's basically nothing left of the house. It's a debris field probably 100 yards in diameter. Fire investigators say the Howe home just exploded 10 minutes after construction workers left the roof of it, but too late for one of the homeowners who was inside. We have found one male victim. Deceased? Deceased. There was a report of two explosions. There was an explosion that occurred after we arrived, um, right after we arrived, and it was a propane tank that blew up right after we arrived. Um, I don't know what caused the initial explosion. All this stuff here was up on the shelves and all came down because the force came from that direction. The explosions shook Jim Woodruff's home, and he lives 400 yards away. Oh, it blew everything off the walls of my garage. Really? And then tipped it over, over all the shelves that were just empty. Anything with the glass is broken. Everywhere you look, a piece of this family's life is laying in the ground. In addition to Howl Fire, Heartland here to help. Brighton standing by with a light truck. It's going to be a long night as they investigate to try to figure out how this happened. In Howl, I'm Glenda Lewis, Channel 7 Action News. All right, thank